So in this video, I am going to explain what are the different CAD display devices. Let us see that video display devices, one is a monitor or a display, sometimes called a visual display unit, is an electronic visual display for computers. The second, the first computer monitors used cathode ray tubes, CRTs, which was the dominant technology until they were replaced by LCD monitors in the 21st century. So random scan display draw a picture of one line at a time and are also called vector display devices. So random scan displays are designed to draw all the component lines of a picture 30 to 60 times each second. So each refresh cycle is delayed to avoid refresh rates generated than 60 frames per second. Otherwise, faster refreshing of the set of lines could burn out the passport. So flat panel display encompasses a growing number of electronic visual display technologies enabling much lighter and thinner, usually 100 mm. So used in many applications, specifically modern portable devices such as laptops, cellular phones and digital cameras, camcorders, compact cameras, pocket video cameras, etc. So light emitting diode LED, an LED display is a video display which uses light emitting diodes. So LED panels are sometimes used as a form of lighting for the purpose of general illumination, task lighting or even stage lighting rather than display. So LED panels are sometimes used as a form of lighting for the purpose of general illumination, task lighting or even stage lighting rather than display. So liquid crystal displays, LCD used in small systems such as calculators, laptop computers produce a picture by passing polarized light from the surrounding or from an internal light source through a liquid crystal materials that can be aligned to either block or transmit the light. So overall working of CRT. So now let us look at this diagram, this overall working of the um, CRT, how it will work. So the connector pins, now you can see that these are the connector pins where you can give the, the supply to the CRT monitor and the, this, this is the base where we are mounting all the electron guns and the glass tube. So now you can see that this is the electron gun where the electrons are the um, sending through the control grid voltage. Here you can see this, this device is control grid voltage and this entire unit is uh, uh, focusing the system. So that electrons, the beams of electrons are passing through this electron gun and before this focusing system, they set up for the deflectors are provided. There is a two set of deflectors, what is the horizontal deflectors and the vertical deflectors. So here, this is the Y deflector and this is the X deflector. So the, with the help of these deflectors, these electron beams will uh, focusing on this uh, phosphor screen both in the vertical and the horizontal where uh, that dot wants to hit on the phosphor screen so that will be uh, guided by these uh, deflectors, y, y deflectors and x deflectors. So with the help of the y and x, you can uh, keep that portion of these electron beams on this entire screen so with a, within the, the area which you, you focus okay so once this electron beam is uh, impinging on the passport and the passport coating screen is uh, glowing and that picture will be so because here uh, the color uh, uh, the combinations are uh, uh, using that is uh, uh, red blue and uh, rgp so the these color combinations will enhance the color images so you can able to see the color images Next, we will see that in detail about the, this uh, 
cathode ray tube okay this already explained this base and pins okay and cathode and here the heater the electron guns are passing through grid and here uh, keeping the in series the focus nodes here free accelerating node and focusing anode accelerating anode and the vertical deflection plate okay and this horizontal deflection plate and then these two are uh, controlling the deflection of uh, these electron beams which are uh, striking on the phosphorus uh, coated screen now you can see that entire this portion is called it is a electron gun and uh, this uh, aqua dark coating are provided up to this point you can see that uh, the green color okay this is the aqua coating is provided so with the, because this is a very bulky but in olden days they are using these uh, crt screens to display the images on the uh, monitor so the cathode ray tube the crt is a vacuum tube containing an electron gun a source of electrons and a fluorescent screen with the internal or external means to accelerate and deflect electron beam used to create images in the form of light emitted uh, from the fluorescent screen. So a CRT monitor contains millions of tiny red, green and blue phosphor dots that glow when struck by an electron beam that travels across the screen to create a visible image. So in a CRT monitor tube, the cathode is a heated filament. The heated filament created vacuum inside a glass tube. So the electrons are negative and the screen gives a positive charge. So the screen glows when screen struck by electrons. So CRTs can be useful for displaying images with eye pixels per unit area and cut color balance. CRTs are still popular in the printing and broadcasting industries as well as in the professional video, photography and graphics fields due to their greater color, the fidelity, contrast and better viewing from off axis. CRTs also still find adherence in video gaming because of their higher resolutions for initial cost, fast response time and multiple native resolutions. LCD's working principle. So the liquid crystals can adopt a twisted up structure and when we apply electricity to them, they straighten out again. So this is the key how LCD displays turn pixels on and off. The polarization property of light is used in LCD screen to switch its colored pixels on and off at the back of the screen. There is a bright light that shines out towards the viewer. So in front of this, there are the millions of pixels, each one made up of smaller areas called subpixels that are color red, green or blue. So types of LCDs. The direct address display device, passive matrix display device, active matrix display device. Now look at uh, this uh, diagram. Now you can uh, see that uh, start from the left. So now this is the entire uh, uh, rear glass. You are providing the rear glass and here polarizing film. This is the polarizing film are used in front of the liquid crystal this is the device liquid crystal and this is the color filter you can filter the color and here you're using the one more polarizing film and this is the front glass and the colored light will be passed on through this front glass and the image will be able to see that so with the help of these polarizing films one is the rear the the crystal liquid and one is the in front of the color filter these two are using to pass on the, the electron beams um, through and uh, hit the, the device which are uh, illuminating that uh, RGB pixels so that according to their color, uh, the color will be glowing and the color image will be displayed. This is the main working principle the LCD will uh, work. So each pixel has a polarizing glass filter behind it 
and another in front of it at 90 degrees. So normally the pixels looks dark. In between the two polarizing filters, there is a tiny twisted uh, pneumatic liquid crystal that can be switched on and off electronically. So when it is switched on, it rotates the light passing through it through 90 degrees effectively not allowing light to flow through the two polarizing filters and making the pixels look dark. So each pixel is controlled by a separate transistors that can switch it on or off many times each second. Next we will see that how that LED will work, construction of LED. So the LED consists of a chip of semiconductors material doped with the impurities to create a PN junction and the chips are mounted in the reflecting tray order to increase the light output. So the contacts are made on the cathode side by means of conductive adhesive and on the anode side via the gold wire to the lead frame. The plastic case encloses the chip area of the lead brain. So the here you can see that the construction of the LED light and that anode it's acting as a positive and cathode it's acting as a negative and the flat spot and uh, anvil post land and these different parts are shown here in this diagram. Epoxy lands, wire bond, reflective cavity. Okay. So with alpha this anode and cathode one supply is that LED light is glowing and that will be giving the illumination. So LEDs are a promising light source whose efficiency was 10 times greater than the incandescent lighting. So long operating life and reliability has made LEDs as a potential choice for next generation lighting systems including the automotive, emergency, backlights, indoor and outdoor. So LED lighting can also be referred to as a solid state lighting because an LED is a solid state technology. So LEDs were first developed in 1960s and its characteristics decide this light source is suitable for indication and illumination. So how LED works are uh, displayed in this screen. You can see that battery uh, and uh, this uh, current flows across this uh, junction. So these two devices are uh, the positive cathode and negative anode that uh, the, how the electrons are uh, flowing are shown here. You can see that holes and electrons. So that is N type and P type. So the current flows across this junction. This junction the current is flows. And you can see that in the reverse side, you can use that cathode in the right side anode is negative. So that is a P type and N type. Then depulsion zone. So here you can see that here you can depulsion zone. No current flows across this junction. So in this direction, the current is flowing through this junction and here it is current is opposing. So when the positive end of the circuit is hooked up to the N type layer and the negative end is hooked up to the P type layer, free electrons that collect on one end of the diode and holes collect on the other, the depulsion zone gets bigger. So that opposite here. So using this principle, this LED will works. So I hope everyone can know that how that output devices are working. Thank you.